Well, welcome to our Dave Downey Fly Time video production. It's testing times for everybody with this self isolation and being stuck in the house and we can't get out fishing. All we can really do, I've never seen so many people tying flies in their life. Uh, so, I'm like yourselves, I'm kind of stuck in the house. I get out once a week to go to the shops uh, to get my messages, and while I'm there, I can get some stuff posted as well. So. I haven't had a chance to do any, any videos recently, so this is the first one for a wee while. I hope you're all staying safe, being sensible, and overall desperate to get out fishing. I mean, I'm really gagging to get out. I mean, I spent my 50th birthday on my with my my partner and our girls, but I know i got to see my own children, because we're kind of stuck. So, anyway, let's try and be a bit more positive, and hopefully we're all going to get better. Uh, so fly I'm going to tie today is just a wee mini lure but it's one of my favourite little mini lures uh, I'm actually tying it on my new vice I got another, a new Dyna King uh, I got the professional one uh, or I can't remember what it's called but it's it the more expensive one my other Dyna King it, the, the jaws are needing a wee bit tidied up so but it's tied an awful lot of flies so it's done a lot of, a lot of good work right, so for this fly it's called the Shambler, and I'll explain while I'm tying it why I call it the Shambler. So, we're needing a 175 on a barbless equivalent. Tying this on a size 10 because it's an international size, but you know, you can tie it on bigger hooks as well. So, we're doing it on a 10 today. We're going to need some gold or silver razor flash because there's two versions of this fly. Right, so that, that we're tying the gold one, and I'll maybe do the, the silver one later. So we've got that, we're going to need some spring water blue, marabou boo, or marabou, but marabou boo as my mate Michael Powell calls it. We're going to need some glow bright floss, number 5, which is the orange. We're going to need some chenille, same stuff I use for the humongous. So if you're tying a silver one you use silver chenille, if you're tying a gold one you use gold chenille, silver one, silver tail, gold one, gold tail. But both the flies work pretty well, and I'm going to be tying it using my usual 14 0 uh, shear. So let's get started while well, we're in the vise. So I'll just tie that in. Okay, take that bit off. So it's the first video I've done for over a week, so yeah, been a while. Right, and then come back up. So we're going to get my gold razor flash. That it says if you're tying a silver version, you want to use silver. Tying a gold version, you use gold. You just swap the silver and gold out. Oops, let me drop the scissors. I'm out of practice actually. I've not tied the fly for over a week. I've been doing material stuff like crazy for everybody. And now I'm going to have to get all my fly orders finished. So I'm just going to tie that in as a tail. So catch it in. And let's go back down. See, if you, if you like the videos, I mean, it, as I say, it's, it's testing times just now. But if you like the videos, please subscribe. Obviously, uh, hit the bell button. Then you'll get notifications when the new videos are going up. I do intend to tie a few more. So I'm just going to cut that short. Now, I did promise I would tell you the story behind this fly. So, I was fishing Grafham a long time ago with my, my late pal uh, Alan Ronald and it was fry bashing time and my other pal Graham Pearson was fishing with us as well. And the fish were bashing the fry, but they were on pin fry. And I decided to tie this fly up. Just I woke up in the morning, I had it in my head when I was sleeping. I had that idea. Sometimes you just get, get an idea, you get a feeling. And I had dreamt about this. Uh, probably, when I tell you why I call it the Shambler, you'll realise why I was dreaming about it. But uh, I got up and I tied it. And immediately went out and caught fish on it. So it was quite good. So we need a wee bit of marabou for the tail. So I've cut quite a short bit off. It's not that big. 
So basically, it was working really, really well on graphing for me uh, as a dropper pattern. So I'm just going to tie that in above the the gold. Okay, and we'll just trim that. And I just, I still do. I mean, I, I I do play computer games when I get time. I'll, I'll, I'm a computer gamer. I always have been. And there was a game called Quake from years and years and years ago, which was basically a first-person shoot 'em up. But it could be quite scary, depending, you know, the circumstances you were playing it in. And on the actual game game, not the multiplayer section, there was a monster called the Shambler. So I tied in the gold chenille, and this monster was like a big white. Uh, yeti type thing with big red eyes or big orange eyes and it was always I always remember the first time I met it in game it was one of them ones you get around the corner and you absolutely crap yourself because this thing comes running at you and you've got to kill it and you've got to shoot it and, and you're shooting away and you know it's just coming and coming and coming at you so it was like a big huge scary white monster with orange eyes and any gamer that, that knows what I'm talking about I'm going to take another piece of marabou here any gamer that knows what I'm talking about is when you've been playing a game and you go to your bed a lot of times you actually can't get it out of your head uh, and you know it continues into your sleep and you end up dreaming about it so I dreamt about the shambler that night and woke up in the morning, tied the fly, went out onto Grafham and bang started catching fish on it. That's a little bit short, right? I want it so it's sitting. Right. So it's sitting level with the tail. Right, I'm happy with that, that's better. So I'll just tie that in and we'll cut that away. Right. So that's how it's done. One wing go forward and then use the chenille again to three turns catch it in and then just put it back on your wee your wee spring okay we're going to get another bit of marabou Tie that in. Okay. Tie that in. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go trim that off. Okay. And go forward. Yeah, I had to tie some of these up for Graham and for Alan. Okay, and we'll just catch that in. Now that's the body finished. We're not going to use any more chenille, right? So we're going to take the chenille off now. We've still got another wing to go in. So, but you, you need to leave a gap at the front because you've got a wing plus, obviously, with that been tapered because you've been building up the wings. If you can see, the, the body actually gets thicker as it goes forward, obviously because you're using the marabou. Right, so we're going to get another piece of marabou. Right, this will be the last wing. So, basically you get a tail and three, three wings. I never tried it like a black version because there wasn't a black shambler in the Quake computer game. Now, I know some of you guys have probably played it and you go, oh I remember that monster. Yeah, well, it used to give me nightmares even though I was an adult. So, tie that wing in and I'm just going to take that off. I'm trying not to cut the thread. Okay, so catch that in. Tidy that little bit up. Great. 
I'm doing a video and there we go, people outside talking. <sighs> I'm not even going to re-edit it at this time because I've put a lot of effort into this. So I'm going to take that floss off. So we've got the orange floss on the go now. So I'm folding it. Right, and I fold, fold it three times. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch it in on one side and tie it in. Right, and just pull it underneath the eye and catch it in that way. Pull it back up. Right, and then just that's a good thing about this thread because it's 14 oh You can do that. You know, you can build up quite a lot of thread and have a half decent head on it. Right, so I just need to tidy that up a little bit. Okay, right, I'm happy with that. Get my bit finished tool. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And trim. Obviously we're going to varnish the fly, right? But what we need to do first is we need to cut the eyes. Right. So we're going to use that bit for the next one. I'm going to tie a silver one as well. But not in this video. And that's it. And that's a shambler. As I say, anybody that's played Quake, the computer game, will understand what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to varnish it up. That's a great pin fry pattern, to be honest. It's got loads of movement, looks great in the water. Don't know if you can see it there. I'll try and zoom in. And you can see the cheeks, and the eyes. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I really hope these are safe and you're, you're being sensible. As I say, we're all desperate to go out fishing, but it's just not going to happen just now. And of course the weather's half decent just now as well in Scotland for the first time the whole winter. So stay safe, take care of your family, hope you enjoyed watching it. And I says you can follow me on my Facebook, David C. Downey. You can follow me on Instagram, which is Dave Downey Fly Fishing. You can check out a guiding site, which will not be happening until the, the, the lockdown's finished. But it's www.davedowneyflyfishing. Uh, sorry, davedowneyfishing.com and my online shop where you can get the materials uh, and, and the flies uh, is www.fly-fishingworld.com I will be shipping materials as long as the post office is open but it will be once a week so I'll not be able to go you know so if you order on a Monday it'll be Friday when it's getting shipped uh, if, it, if it's materials, if it's flies it'll be a wee bit longer if you order on, on, on the, the, the Friday morning, it should get shipped that day if it's just materials. Uh, but as I say, Friday's the day that I'm going to be try to, try to ship stuff. And I'll try my best to get stuff out to you guys, just to keep you supplied and keep you entertained. Uh, and as I say, I'll do, do as many videos as I can. So stay safe, take care. Bye for now.